IT later, just raise your hand and we'll call on you. Carthy? It's been it's been really fun, um, just really just learning uh, from my mistakes and everything like that I've made, and um, just when I got guys like T. Lander and KP and Arion, uh, everybody back in the um, linebacker room helping me out, just trying to learn to play. So uh, it's just been super helpful with guys like that to help me um, when I'm struggling. Rick, Omar, there's been a lot of pressure during throughout the course of spring. Are you seeing that kind of development as well? Uh, yeah, I would say that I've seen, like, us as a D-line just continue to grow this spring. That's something that we just wanted to focus on was take advantage of the opportunity that we have this spring to come out here and work every day, get better on the field. Uh, but I will say it's just watching the film, being out there at practice every day, like, you can definitely tell the growth in our team, but it's still a whole bunch of room for us to grow it, to be dominant. Definitely. I mean, any chance to have a, a opportunity to step on the field, um, you can't take it for granted. So, um, with me, with people stepping, with people being hurt, uh, a lot of us got to step up, and that's a huge opportunity for me uh, to continue to get better. Patrick, Mark, good, good thanks after I think the second or third spring practice said you guys should have the best defensive line in, in the country this week. Is that something you guys have talked about internally, or has it been more day to day, or, or what's the potential? You think you have? No, I feel like we have potential to um, be that. It's something that we talk about every day, just putting it out there, everybody knowing what our goal is, know what we have to do, what we need to do in order to be that. But we just can't come in here. Like, we try to keep our room focused, like, on inside <laughs> our room, like, not focus on what's going on outside, what people say, how good we can be. Like, we just come in every day and work so that way we know that. We put in the time, we put in the craft. So if it comes out to be that, we know we actually work for it. It's in the back. Edwin, today or in camp, who have been some offensive guys that you've gone up against, whether it's team settings or whatever, that have really impressed you? Um, pretty much uh, all of the old linemen. Uh, definitely it's not high school ball anymore, so um, everybody's just – just as fast and just as big and everything like that. So uh, I'll just give a lot of credit to um, the guards and the tackles. Um, all, all of them have just been uh, great. And then even after practices, I'll I'll go up and ask them like, what it what is it about my rush move that made you do this and all that type of stuff. So um, it's just been really cool to get to learn from all of them. Patrick, Edwin yeah, Coach Andy said that you liked physical contact. Was exactly how he put it. And was there early on in practice did you have to get Tell you tone it down a little bit. You're being too physical for maybe a thud period or something like that. Uh, yeah, you're sure. Uh, I still remember it was a um, a team run period and it was thud and uh, I accidentally tackled one of the running backs and they kind of got mad. But <laughs> yeah. Mario, you've been through a few of these orange and white games now. How much motivation is there with the offense and defense to get the better of one another in a friendly kind of way? And is it is it kind of hard to tell who got the better of who today? Yeah, you, it's, it really, in a locker room, like before, we really just try to talk mess to each other, like just to get things going, just to build up some energy, some tension a little bit. Because we know we want to go out there, we want to compete, we want to be the best, and we know we can do that against each other in order for us to be a great team. So we just try to build that tension up so that way you do got some motivation going into the game. But it's all love, it's all fun. We just want to go out there and compete. Wes? Yes, Omar, the follow-up would be, do you think the offense or the defense got the better end of the other today? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like both sides did a really good job. <laughs> I feel like both sides did a really good job, but I feel like just being a defensive guy, I feel like we let up too many touchdowns today. That's just something that I necessarily 
pride in the defense, but, you know, offense, defense, I both feel like we had a real good spring. We really just put on tape that, like, we can be dominant, we can play, and we just got to continue to grow off that and not get complacent. Hey, Jeremiah, where, do, where would the focus for you this offseason to get better, and where do you feel like you are heading into the summer? Just get better in all areas of my game, whether it's using my hands when I'm blitzing, um, being, being fit in my run gaps or in pass coverage. Um, I was actually watching the spring game last year before this game today and just watching even all the linebackers from then till now, we've all improved so much. Um, so just continue to build on this throughout the summer and then into fall camp as well. Um, Omari, Coach Heifel talked about how the defensive line improved in sort of using their hands on the pass rush. How have you seen that trend? Uh, I've seen it. It's something that we really focus on a lot. Um, we really focus on this spring just rushing the quarterback with four people. We want to be able to rush the quarterback with four-man rush, just true four-man rush. And we just really made sure we focus on the small details of using our hands. So indie work, pass rush work, like we're overly using our hands, like just constantly throwing moves with our hands just so it becomes a habit for us when we in a game or something like that that we just feel natural doing it. So we really locked in on that. Last two, Patrick and Vince. Jeremiah, did you know much about Coach Inns when, when he got here? And how do you think he's already helped your, your game in such a short time? I know you guys have a full spring now, but how do you think he's helped you? Yeah, I really didn't know much about him. Uh, I knew he came from Washington. And I know that they went to, they, they went to it all last year. Um, so uh, I know that he has what it takes to win a championship um, or to get to a championship. And Coach Inns has done a great job these past, I don't know, four or five weeks. Um, Really, just getting all the linebackers together and um, building a chemistry within the within the room, um, and he's he's just done a great job, and I'm excited to see where where he can lead lead our group. Um, so he's he's been great to us. Mark in the back. Uh, obviously, we didn't really see James Pierce Jr. today, but what kind of camp has he had, and how's he handling all the hype and the expectations of him when he was getting national news? Um, he's had a real good camp. I would say that he's handling everything that comes to him the right way. He's handling it like a pro. He doesn't get too worked up about things that people could say about him or what he could potentially be. He mainly just comes in every day. He's being a great teammate, being a great person, just continuing to grow as a leader for our team because we need that from him as well. And he's just he's, – he's had a real good count. Wes, you have one. Yeah. Jeremiah, I know that you probably don't spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one covering the receivers, but – I guess we don't have any DBs up there, so I'll ask you, what kind of growth have you seen from those that, that group from last year to this year? Yeah, the DBs look great. Um, it's a great feeling um, when you can you see the ball thrown, you look back and you see one of them guys make a play. It's definitely a really good feeling. We, we got a bunch of transfers that came in, and I think that room has built their chemistry up a lot, and they show up every day and come to work, so that group, group has done great, and uh, I'm excited to see what they can do. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.